Does anyone know anything about Glenn Gould? <laughs> yeah! He's a pianist! So, uh, yeah, yeah. Glenn Gould was this piano virtuoso. He was uh, kind of famous for his Bach uh, interpretations and what have you. And he, uh, he was a famous recluse. He got, uh, uh, after a point of being on stage, he felt like people weren't there to see him play or to hear the music. They were here at the shows listening to see if he'd just fuck something up. Because they wanted to see just, he felt like they wanted to see a train wreck. They wanted to see a bawd villain. And uh, this poem's about that. Look at me. I want you to look at me. You have my permission. Please look at me. I want to be your bawd villain. I want to be your waltzing bear on top of the stairs. I want to be your drunken clown. I want to juggle for you. Take all my problems out of this suitcase and toss them in the air like burning daggers ready to chop me into little pieces. And I want you to get everything you need to get from my little performance. You see, I knew a thought villain once. Every single night she'd step out on stage with nothing but a pair of scissors. And slowly, so slowly, she'd chop herself in half from tip down to toes. She'd reach her fingers into her open chest cavity and pull open her rib cage and let everything fall onto the stage. Blood, guts, heartache, trauma, a small Vietnamese family. <laughs> the sleeping pills she ate for dinner. The older man who stripped her down by the poplar trees. The younger man who didn't. And they'd surround her on stage. And slowly, so slowly, she'd start to sew herself back together. And while she did it, she'd say, I want to be your bald villain. I want to be your waltzing bear on top of the stairs. I want to be your drunken clown. So why won't you look at me? With my permission, please. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs>